What up, people? Rish up here, or as I'm known in my gaming circles, uh, Rish Kosum. And welcome back. I know I haven't been posting regularly. I've been trying to figure some things out. As you can see, with the setup and everything, I've been trying to experiment with things, right? Now, while exploring, I came across this great platform called IntelliFluence. Now, at a first glance, you would think it's a regular influencer platform, right? What's unique about this platform is instead of brands trying to figure out which influencers are best for their brand promotion and approach them, etc., this platform simplifies the work for them. So in very simple words, the brand would post a listing of the work that they require for their promotion. It would list what would they pay and what is needed to be done and what are their minimum requirements like a follow account or a subscriber level. The influencers would just go on the marketplace, choose the ones that they're interested. Maybe it's related to their field, maybe it's not. Maybe they want to explore something new and they would apply for their listing, right? And now the brands can lose amongst the influencers that have applied, maybe send them a pitch back saying that, yeah, we liked your channel we would love to collaborate with you the things can move on from there this saves a lot of time to the influencers and the brands as well i have been loving my experience with this platform on that note i would like to share something about this platform so this is the article that i would like to discuss it's the 2021 influencer compensation report by intellifluence now if you are even remotely related to this industry this article would be a great read for you this article is a full-fledged statistical report of every social media that is trending right now so the first graph i would like to focus is how the influencers prefer to be compensated for their work major number here is 69.5 percent of influencers prefer to be compensated for their work with cash and product as well now i don't think this comes as a surprise like i am an influencer and i would love to get a feel of the product for the company that i am promoting also get some cash for my work now the influencers were asked a very simple question do you believe you are compensated fairly for your work? Now this graph is a bunch of mixed numbers. It has no clear winner. Now let's talk about the most trending social media platform right now. That's right, that's Instagram. On the screen you can see based on the follow account, influencers would prefer some kind of cash payment in the following range. So this graph gives you a clear idea on how the influencers feel they should be getting paid based on their followers. Next, I want to talk about Facebook. Now, Facebook hasn't been super popular in terms of influencers or creativity, and that's just my opinion. There's a key point that's highlighted in the article here. It says that $209.88 is an average expected amount that any influencer on Facebook would want per post. Even with Facebook, if you're approaching an influencer or if you are an influencer, this graph is super useful to you. You can see based on your number of followers or your likes on Facebook, how much compensation should you be getting for your work per post moving forward all these social platforms have different graphs next we have Twitter even Twitter has different compensation rates based on the followers you know in the end this article is all about influencers and brands Simple thing is, if you are an influencer and if you are on one of these platforms, you should look out for the number of followers you have and in what compensation range you fall in. And same goes for the brand. If you are a brand and you want to compensate some influencer and you're scared you might be insulting them by paying them less, all these statistics are super useful to you. So the last platform I would be discussing is YouTube. Obviously, this video is coming out on YouTube. You are watching it on YouTube. So, all right, funny thing about this graph, it doesn't say any minimum follow count, right? It's starts from one so even if you are a beginner on youtube you can expect the brand to pay you 207.32 dollars for your work moving forward you can see on the article they have even covered platforms like tiktok and blogs so this is a fully covered article so now comes the conclusion part of the article what intellifluence is trying to say here the goal of this article was to gather data from all the influencers and their brands and start up a base market guideline pricing so that in the future influencer marketing and brand collaboration would move forward however it says that there are many variables when deciding what compensation rate should be just on the basis of followers there's things like what's the price of the product that the brand is selling or what are the engagement rates that the influencers get on their platform so the campaigns of the influencers will be more complicated obviously you can't decide just on the basis of the follow account or subscriber account or whatever respective platform you are working for 
but this will serve as a general guideline where you can start doing your ups and downs for I would also like to thank the author of this article it's Andrew Evans he's the head of client services for IntelliFluence so Andrew thank you for this amazing article I am sure this article would help a lot of influencers and brands yeah so that was it for this article thank you so much for watching this quick video I hope you guys liked it and until the next video namaste